Father of Lord God. It is failure to be only way to raise a man with that bloody boulder's mouth is at them. Moving in. about a lead said that I should come see you about it of course madam let me just <clears throat> forgive me why are you here is this some kind of sick joke do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days my daughter Vanra my little girl she's missing this stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... She was... Taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes. Blushing mermaids down by the docks. I've told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Someone or something has tampered with her memory. What, um... What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! Nonsense, I'm fine. Madam, tell me why you're... <laughs> ...here... ...and I will assist. God, you're right. Something's wrong with her. Can you help me? I've no family, and Vanra's father isn't around. The flame fist my last resort. I'm so afraid. I'm so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept or eaten since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. And of course, the front of house, Boston Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Never wanted the easy path. Let's see what Portier has to say. She claimed she'd look into it. Do I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? I am so glad you asked, Edward. No. no. Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. Edvard Needle, editor of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette.
Speaking truth to power since 1450DR. No need to introduce yourself. I make sure I become intimately familiar with my subjects before writing about them. Estra deals with the personal interviews and fluff pieces. I deal with the truth. And the truth is, you're a damned menace. Trafficking refugees into our city is hardly a good look. Especially when so many are absolutists and murderers. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Lord Gortash is a passionate champion of the journalistic arts. Attack me, and you face the steel watch. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? People don't always escort us. The block has a board sheet article engraved upon it. It speaks positively of you. get closer to the print work, something odd happens. You hear it speak. 
Not one step further. You are interrupting art. You feel a dancing, mischievous magic sparking through the air around the printer. A fey creature resides within. Are you addled in the head? I'm no chattering contraption. I am a person. An artist. Name's Jellywin. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Now scram it! One mistake and the reputation of Boulder's Mouth Gazette crumbles to dust. Someone who appreciates the art of words. And a celebrity to boot. You'll enjoy this. As it happens, the next edition has an article about you. <laughs> it's a mean one, too. Real nasty. Etzard must really have it out for you. Hard luck. We'll require a delicate touch to spruce up. I think I'll need my number seven pen. Real sharp. I'm afraid I can't help you. I've got a good thing going here. Letting you swap out a whole article might get Etvard suspicious. I wouldn't take it too personal. Etvard gets his lines from up top, then gets all worked up over it. Although, it not being personal doesn't change how shafted you'll be. After my own heart. Wonderful. Uh, right, uh, let, let's get this article nice and loose. Uh, there. Now, you'll, you'll need to find a replacement piece, of course. Uh, make sure it's a good one. How delightful. That's what the people need to know. Remember, this ain't the blushing mermaid. It's the elf song. So behave yourself. That's right. And a lonely job it is, too. When you're the muscle, no one thinks about your heart. Very funny. Go on inside. They're looking for comedians. This was brief with my daughter. you furry chunkers. Disgraceful. Damn rats. Oi, you! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. No. I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. The cellars are just down the stairs. There, you'll find my old lodgings.
curse to put my hands on everything. Is the Yankee? What are they doing here? Get rid of them. In the meantime, tear every brick out. It seems your report was good, Wargaz. Glad you could join us, Lozel. I'm told you carry an artifact most cherished. Tell me, Lozel of Kalir. What reward do you think the Astral Prism will fetch once I pluck it from your corpse and present it to Vlakith? What honors, what riches will the Undying Queen grant me when I hand her the failed prince? Stand down! I protect the Prism on our Queen's behalf. The Undying Queen cares not for who delivers her the Prism and the traitor prince within. All that matters is that it is delivered. The false heir's head will make a fine trophy for Vlakith. As for you, I will leave nothing behind but meat and shattered bone. Tamar Zala Vlakith! Were Wargaz to kill you, I won't make the same mistake. Something over there. My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. That's cute. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. Should mind my step. No, you can't be here. It's not safe. She has my scent. Run. Do not stop until you feel sunlight and fresh air. Orin. Orin the Red. <laughs> she tormented me with... Blades and and hot irons. I resisted, but then she forced me to drink a foul brew. The rabid, cursed blood of all manner of beasts. I lost control. I felt the bear take over. Blood crazed. And she forced me into a cage. Along with. with children taken from the streets. I was powerless to stop myself. Their screams. Her laughter. It's all I can hear. I do not deserve to see the sun again. She's too strong. You have to turn around. Go. Let me buy you some time. She's coming for you. Ah, you face her already. Look at it, crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my netherstone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little pet. <laughs> Gortash, the little lord of darkness. <laughs> I know him well. Yes, yes. 
Yes, and he knows me. Knows how my blades sculpt and carve this city. I could peel a fine pelt from the mud I caught, sniffing at your heels. Drag skin from flesh, from bone. <laughs> I will not slice. His kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new, sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. <laughs> Catherick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue, hmm? You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Oren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. <laughs> oh no, we had a balance. The chosen three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher. Butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill him. Gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. Need? No. No, no, I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone. I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dog. There is time for you yet. Time to save. Do not underestimate his steel watch. 
Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. What's up for discussion? You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Just lying around, you furry chunker. Hold up, citizen. This is a... Stumbling's parlor. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. No need. Oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelman's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back, and someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. The brutality of the killings is certainly reminiscent of his work. But there's something more here, something new. There's a reference to these murders, a certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts, the depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. 
Help this city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Grant me guidance. Hear my words, Vinisk. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the astral prism! Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, commander of dragons, my only, my chosen. Kneel before me, make your promise. Your parasites resonate. You feel Lazelle's ecstasy as she moves to kneel before her queen. Water and blood. They envelop you, they drag you downward. You are submerged in past, present, and future. In this endless sea of understanding, you find truth. Lazel believes a Zathis device cleanses the parasite, but it's used for extracting memories and killing the infected. Flakith does not welcome her finest young warriors into her royal city to reward them, but to consume their essence in her quest for godhood. The Lich Queen doesn't intend to reward Lazel, but to devour her. Flakith speaks only in lies. No, it can't be. 
I believed you. I believed everything. Shikarkev! You speak against the Eternal Queen. Mother Gith's son lives, caged by a prison of your design. Our people deserve the truth, but you have denied it to us. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. You turned my eyes to the truth. Vlack, it's forsaken me, and there's no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea, never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. I know hate. It seeds and distills into molten rock, forever rattling in the belly. But I've never known this. I feel no heat, no cold. I bear neither fangs nor talon. There is only... absence. No matter. I am Vlakith's child no more. I have been born anew in Gith's son, my savior. And so, from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tremar Sala Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. We take the Orphic hammer from Raphael's lair. Orpheus Tafki Nazin.